Come and do your mathematics. Come and do your mathematics. And your best will get you through it. There is nothing hard about it. Come on, children, let's get to it. Come and do your mathematics now. Hello, I'm Bob Bear, but everyone calls me Daddy Bear. You can call me that too. I grow flowers. I have a flower business. I sell flowers to my neighbors and friends. I also sell flowers at the market. It's a lot of work, but my wife and children help me. Ah, let me introduce you to my family. This is my daughter, Bessie Bear, and my son, Benji Bear. And that is my wife, Betty Bear. She's always as busy as a bee. That's me. Just a moment. I've got to go and get something. I want to use it to teach Bessie and Benji Bear about money today. I'm sure my plane will fly faster and higher than yours. Don't be too sure, Benji Bear. Girl bears make better planes than boy bears. Yours might not fly at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. We will just have to wait. And... Oops. Huh? What's that? Uh-oh. Oh, dear. What happened, Daddy Bear? Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Uh, I was carrying the money box and it slipped out of my hands. Don't worry. I'll go and get the broom and dustpan and, and some containers to put the coins in. Wow, look at all these coins. There are so many of them, and they are all over the place. Uh, Daddy Bear, what do we call Malaysian coins? Sin, Bessie. We call them Sin. Oh, clumsy me. Anyway, I wanted to use these coins to teach you about money. I was going to remove the lock and get the coins out, but... <laughs> You found an easier way to do it, Daddy Bear. Stop making fun of your father. Here are the containers. You two can help Daddy Bear pick up the coins while I sweep up the broken pieces of the money box. Thank you, Mummy Bear. Okay, children, let's see. We have five containers, so we'll put all the one cent coins in here. The 5 cent coins in here, the 10 cent coins will go into this container. The 20 cent coins will go into this one and we shall put all the 50 cent coins into this container here. Okay? Uh, Daddy Bear, we don't know which coins are which. Oh, okay. I will show you. This is a 1 cent coin. 5 sin and this one is called a 10 sin coin here's what a 20 sin coin looks like and this big round coin is a 50 sin coin good now that you recognize the coins find them and put them into these containers remember the one sin goes in here the 5 sin in here, the 10 sin in here, the 20 sin in here, and the 50 sin in here. Okay, let's go to work. 1 sin. 5 sin. 10 
cent. Twenty cent. Fifty cent. Daddy Bear, this is a good opportunity to teach Bessie and Benji Bear about money. Then they would be able to help out at the market. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I want to do. I've already taught them to recognize Malaysian coins, and I'll teach them to recognize Malaysian notes later. And then I will teach them how to add and subtract coins up to one ringgit. And notes up to ten ringgit. After that, Bessie and Benji Bear will learn how to exchange coins up to one ringgit, and notes up to ten ringgit. Yes, that would be good, Daddy Bear. Very good. Let's go and tidy up. Yes, that would be good too. Now, these are what we call Malaysian currency notes. Notes have a greater value than coins. They are lighter than coins because they are made of paper. And they are more colorful too. What's this one, Daddy Bear? This is a one ringgit note. It is blue in color and is the smallest of all the currency notes that we use in Malaysia. On the back of this note is the wow. It's a big kite, and it is one of the traditional games that we play in Malaysia. And what's this R M U? Oh, that's the unit that we use to represent the ringgit. When we write down an amount of money, we have to put the R M symbol in front of it. That way, people know that we are talking about Malaysian money. This must be a two ringgit note. Yes, very good. It's purplish and is slightly bigger than the one ringgit note. What's this, Teddy Bear? That's the Kuala Lumpur Tower. We'll go and visit it one of these days. Now, this one here is a five ringgit note. What color is this note, Benji Bear? Green. Good. Let's move on to this red-colored one. It is a ten ringgit note. Daddy Bear, can I buy lots of ice creams with ten ringgit? Of course you can, my dear. Look, Bessy Bear. There's an aeroplane and a train on it. Yeah, and there's a big boat on it too. Yes, there is. Now, those are the currency notes that you need to know about. If you are going to help me sell flowers at the market, let's go back to the coins. I think you should know how many coins of lesser value would have the same value as a coin that is of a higher value. Huh? What? Daddy Bear, say that again in English. <laughs> that was English. I meant that you should know how many one cent coins would have the same value. As a five cent coin, or how many ten cent coins would add up to twenty cent, and so on. Oh! Now, Benji Bear, how many one cent coins are there on this page? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten one cent coins, Daddy Bear. Yes. Now press the red button and see what happens. Oh wow! It has become a ten cent coin. And what does that tell us? I know, I know. It means that ten one cent coins have the same value as one ten cent coin. Exactly. Now let's look at another one. This is a fifty cent coin. Bessie Bear, press the red button, please. That's awesome. That means five ten cent coins are equal to fifty cent, right, Daddy Bear? Exactly, Benji Bear. 
Let's see what's on this page. Ah, four five cent coins. I wonder what they make. Twenty cent. Exactly. Four five cent coins have the same value as twenty cent. You should also remember this. Twenty five cent coins add up to a ringgit. Ten ten cent coins have the same value as a ringgit. Five twenty cent coins make a ringgit, and two fifty cent coins, when added, will add up to a ringgit. Ah, <sighs> it's warm in here. Let's go out into the garden and learn a little more about money. Yeah. Bessie and Benji Bear, I hope you still remember the value of the coins and notes that we learned. Yes, we do. Good. Okay, we have one, five, ten, twenty, and fifty cent coins over here, and one, two, five, and ten ringgit notes over here. Let's add and subtract coins. It's the same as doing normal addition and subtraction, except that we add the words ringgit or sen or both to the total amount. For example, how much would I have if I add ten sen and twenty sen? Ten plus twenty. Uh, I'll have to add from the right hand side. Zero plus zero is zero. Then one plus two is three. So ten plus twenty is thirty. Okay, ten plus twenty is a、uh, thirty. So one ten cent coin plus another twenty cent coin must be equal to thirty cent. Ten cent plus twenty cent equals thirty cent, Daddy Bear. Thirty cent. Yes, that's the answer. Now, what would you get if you take away ten cent from fifty cent? Okay, uh, I have to take away ten from fifty. So I have to write the bigger number, fifty, on top, and ten below it. To subtract, I have to start with the numbers on the right hand side. Zero minus zero is zero. Then five minus one is four. So fifty take away ten is forty. Hmm. I have to take ten cents away from fifty cents. Let me see. Fifty cent has yes, five ten cent coins in it. So if I take one of those ten cent coin away, I will have ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Yes, forty cent. Fifty cent take away ten cent is equal to forty cent. Very good. Now let's see if you can do just as well with ringgit notes. How much is one ringgit plus two ringgit? That's easy, Daddy Bear. One plus two is three, so the answer is three ringgit. Right, Bessie. What is ten ringgit minus five ringgit? Oh, that's easy, Daddy Bear. Can you give me ten one ringgit notes, please? Hmm. Oh, okay. This is how I'm going to solve your question, Daddy Bear. First, I will replace this ten ringgit note with these one ringgit notes because ten one ringgit notes have the same value as one ten ringgit note, right? Right. Now I have to minus five ringgit from this ten ringgit, right? Right. So I take away five of these one ringgit notes, and what's left is five ringgit. So ten ringgit minus five ringgit is five ringgit. <coughs> Daddy Bear, Daddy Bear, are you alright? Huh? Oh, that was brilliant. Well done. Yeah. Can I uh can I uh play uh learn with you?
I have uh, been watching all of you for the last few uh, minutes and I uh, want to count too. Of course you can, Fendi Fox. Here, let me give you a questions to solve. Fendi Fox, how much money is there on the table now? Mm, um, uh, that's difficult. Uh, but I can count other things. Uh, like you all. Uh, one, two, three. Yes, three. <laughs> 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 you said three, Fendi Fox? Hmm? Did you take three of something from the bears? No, 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 no. I didn't take anything from the bears today. I, uh, uh, I have been a, a, a good boy. <laughs> Hello, Tom Tiger. Everything's fine. And yes, Fendi Fox has been very good today. Oh, Fendi Fox, come by when you are free and I will teach you how to count, okay? Yes, yes, uh, thank you. Okay, I got to go. Bye. Uh, 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 bye to you too, Tom Tiger. Bye, bye Fendi, Fendi Fox. Fox. Bye, Fendi Fox. Okay, I'll be on my way too. Bye. Bye, bye Tom, Tom Tiger. Tiger. Okay, that's enough for today. Let's take all these coins and notes into the house. I think I hear Mummy Bear calling us in for tea. me that the two of you have learned to count coins and notes. Is that true? Yes, and it was a lot of fun. Really? Let me see how much you know. Let's play shop. I'll be the shopkeeper and you two are the customers. Just a moment. Okay, I'm back. All right, Bessie Bear, you are my first customer, and you want to buy the T-shirt. Okay. Excuse me, Madam Mayor, can I have this T-shirt, please? That will be eight ringgit and seventy-five cent, please. Here you are. 